10 Interesting Facts About the Cape Parrot The male has an olive-brown head and orange-red shoulders and leggings. The female has an orange-red forehead and orange-red shoulders and leggings. The juvenile has an orange-red forehead. The male loses this red forehead at about 8 to 10 months and the juveniles have no orange-red shoulders or leggings. They are rare localized endemics to South Africa. There are less than 1,800 that exist today. These parrots are endangered and their numbers are decreasing. They are found in high altitude Afro-Montane forests. They are found from Adelaide in the western Amatola Mountains of the Eastern Cape to Karkloof in KwaZulu-Natal. And there is a small relic population near Bolkberg in the Limpopo province. These Cape parrots eat mainly yellow wood fruit kernels, indigenous fruits and pecanut and black wattle seeds. This is the fruit of the wild plum tree, or the umguenya, eaten by parrots in King Williamstown. You can see how the parrot has neatly removed the kernel from inside the fruit with its very sharp top beak. These cape parrots are monogamous solitary nesters high in natural tree cavities. Their breeding success is low because of a shortage of suitable nest sites. And they are single brooded and they are sold in the captive bird trade. And some succumb to beak and feather disease virus infection. You can see this one's got yellow feathers which indicate that infection. However, one of the biggest factors in habitat loss were the thousands of yellowwood trees that were removed a century or more ago. And the timber was used to make railway sleepers, furniture, floorboards and ceilings etc. because the wood was hard and had a beautiful colour. By removing these trees their numbers plummeted. Their preferred food and the natural nesting cavities in yellow wood trees were lost. They have zygodactyl feet, two toes forwards and two toes backwards, and this helps them to grip when clambering around on tree branches. Watch how this one clambers around on very thin branches and grips the thin branches with its feet. This toe arrangement also helps him to grip their food while feeding. This parrot is gripping the thin branch with one foot and the food with the other foot. This one is tightly gripping the wild plum fruit while tearing it open with a very sharp hooked top bill. They are highly sociable birds that move around in family groups. They are playful and call, chase, aloe feed and aloe preen each other. These two are aloe preening each other.
their loud and raucous call. However, there is hope. The Cape Parrot Project at Hogsback is working very hard with the local community to save these special parrots from extinction. The local community are involved in growing the yellowwood trees in nurseries and then planting out the young trees in the forests when they are large enough. So this is a win-win situation where the local community earns some money by growing these trees and the parrots will benefit in the long run by having their yellowwood trees back in their forests. Also, the local community is learning the importance of conserving these special parrots and they will teach the next generations the importance of conserving them. Please do not keep birds in cages or in captivity. Birds belong out in nature where they can fly free, as they have done for thousands of years. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and post any comments you have down below.